One of my old bosses was the chief administrative officer at a pharmaceutical company, and I actually liked her a lot. She tried to mentor me, tried to guide me through corporate America in my career. She had her MPH and she was Vietnamese, and I will never forget the day she told me, you have three strikes against you in corporate America. You're young, you're black, and you're a woman. So here's my list for the reality of being a black woman in corporate America. Number one, they may not need the degree, but you do. When I was a senior manager in regulatory affairs, I had this boss, she was white, she was the director. Whenever we would have our one-on-one, she would always tell me like, go back to school, go back to school. Mind you, I already had my master's at the time. She would always tell me that her number one regret in her career is not going back to school to further her education because every single time she goes out for higher roles, she always feels slighted by the white men. She said it's like they automatically look past her when looking to give people promotions. Now, for the first time ever in my life, I had a black woman boss. She was the SVP of a pharmaceutical company. And she told me having all her certifications and degrees just gives them one less thing to talk about. I can even say I've experienced this myself. Like at so many jobs before I got my master's, nobody would listen to what I had to say. As soon as I got my master's, my word became a little bit more valuable. Despite the rest of my colleagues not having the same level of education. It's really crazy. Number two, you're paid way less than you deserve. Don't be afraid to ask for more or leave. You guys know I'm not shy to putting in my resignation. I've mentioned so many times that I've been underpaid by companies. But the one that really irritated me the most was when I worked for this company and the CEO would come and run things by me before running it by the vice presidents. I was a manager. I helped branch out business and keep my clients happy. It was not a part of my job description at all. So when I found out they were underpaying me and unwilling to compensate me what I deserved, I had to leave. Mind you, the white women who were reporting to me definitely were getting compensated fairly. Number three, there is a 0.5% chance you see someone who looks like you in senior leadership. A lot of these companies want to diversify their marketing schemes, but they don't want to diversify their leadership. They want to understand how to recruit diverse populations in clinical research, but you don't want to diversify your workforce. I've been working since I was 15, and I've only ever seen one black woman in a leadership position. So it's kind of just the reality that I've had to accept, but I hope to be the person I was longing to see all these years. And the last one, this might be controversial, but another black woman in leadership may not be willing to help you get to the top. I feel like I've seen this a lot in tech lately, but there are so many people who branch into tech or they get an opportunity and they want to gatekeep the information, especially when it comes to senior leadership roles. Some black people in senior leadership say they want to be harder on black people to help them prepare for getting to the top. I don't know. I feel like because it took them so long to get there, they want to hold on to it as long as they can. These are just my thoughts.